Oh man, I've loved music my whole life and just loved that feeling of singing a song and to be a part of it. But I didn't really realize the passion that I had for music until I got my first guitar and started to just write songs and just learned to be creative and it was just my escape and my way to channel my emotion. The first band I was in was when I was 19 and I've been in four more rock bands since then. The energy of a live show, there's nothing that compares to that and just the rush of emotion and how you just let the music take over and the endorphins kick in and you relive the moments in your head that you're writing about, that I'm singing about and to feed off the crowd and to hear them sing lyrics that are coming from the depths of my heart, like there's just nothing, nothing like it. Well, my family had gone to church our whole lives growing up. I'd say till about high school is when we kind of tapered off with church and it was just, you know, once a month kind of thing and then once every couple months. My dad had always said when I was living in his house, it was his rules. And so and I remember I was just so fed up with my dad and I left and went to a friend's house and I said, I'm staying here. I think part of me craved the freedom just because I hadn't experienced it fully for myself and I'd always had someone else making my choices for me and my parents telling me what to do and where to be and once I was out on my own it was like this is this is awesome like I don't have to listen to anybody I can make my own choices and it was great but at the same time it was detrimental being in an original rock band it's almost inevitable that you're going to be in the bar scene or be around alcohol and eventually it, for me it overtook the music. It was a lot of partying, a lot of nightclubs, a lot of bar hopping. And then before I know it, I'm there, you know, downtown in that scene four nights a week until it was almost an everyday thing. And I started doing things that I always told myself I'd never do. And that I would look back on myself and say, did I really do that? Because I'd, sometimes I'd be so blacked out drunk that my friends would have to tell me, oh man, you were bad, you know, and I just didn't have any realization of who I was when I was like that. It was kind of a gradual fade. Just lots of nights on the street, lots of loneliness, I guess. It was all about me and the drink. And it killed everything. It, um, Everybody that I loved and that I was close to, I would just say the most hurtful things to. And um, yeah, I messed up and I still haven't regained a lot of those friendships. I don't feel like I ever lost that connection with, with God. That's what I was thinking, I, that I never had dismissed him purposely. It's just that I felt like the devil just slowly creeped in enough and played this warm character to slowly walk me away until I was completely lost and I've been so far away from God and from my family and from my own morals that it took a near-death experience to finally wake me up. Uh, so it was July 28th, 2007. I spent the day drinking and I was blacking in and out of consciousness. And I remember running across the street to get into this bar. And I remember the security guy yelling at me. And next thing I know, I'm getting tackled and someone's holding me down. And I woke up the next morning in a hospital in just black and blue and IVs in my arm. And the nurse enters the room and says, you had a 10% chance to survive last night. And I completely had no idea how I got there. Things had to change. I knew that there may not be another chance, you know, that I had walked the thin line for too long. I just said, I need to surrender my life. I'm totally out of control, I'm lost. And I remember just falling down on the floor in my dad's room, just praying for God to come back into my life. And I just felt like a hot wave coming over me and everything had been let go. 
I know I didn't deserve God's mercy. I didn't deserve any kind of compassion or love, but it was more than that. It was an offer of a new life and a new chance to be forgiven and to experience freedom and peace again and to just walk in his path. To look back on myself 10 years ago and say, here's a guy that's completely lost, completely a slave to alcohol, and to look at where I am now completely blows my mind. I have three beautiful boys, beautiful wife, and I am happy. I am blessed to be doing music for a different reason other than for my own self. It's for God's glory and not mine. And I have sobriety. And I realized that everything that I had went through in the past is for a purpose. It's to help others that have gone through similar situations that feel like it's hopeless. To hang in there. God has a plan and it may not make any sense to you, but it will. It will soon.